Good morning guys, it's Saturday. Welcome to another weekly vlog from day 40 trillion in quarantine. We're all losing our minds a little bit, but we're about to make some breakfast. I just put Nora down for her nap, and so I'm going to make an iced Americano. So I'm using this little capsule, which is a double shot of espresso. And I just have a glass full of ice, and so it's gonna obviously pour into that. And then I'll add a little bit of water on the top, and then there you go. Riley's making some scrambled eggs, and he roasted some potatoes, and he made some bacon. Only some vegetables and um, some peppers and onions. Yum. And that's it. Okay, so this is just a double shot over ice, which is also something that some people like. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some water, <laughs> some water to it, which makes it an Americano. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of cream and probably some caramel syrup. It'll be an iced Americano with caramel and cream, which will be really delicious. There's another easy Nespresso recipe. I think I'm gonna make whipped coffee later this afternoon because I've been craving it the past few days as well. Is there anything more beautiful than cream going into iced coffee? Yum. So here's the delicious breakfast that Riley made. So those potatoes are from my last weekly vlog that I chopped up. And so he roasted those and then some bell peppers and onions are sauteed and then scrambled eggs and cheese and toast and bacon. Yum. Hey guys, it's a couple of minutes after midnight, so technically it's Sunday morning, but it still feels like Saturday because we have not gone to bed yet. Um, we have spent the entire, entire day laying on the couch watching TV. Specifically, we watched the entire series on Netflix called The Circle, which is a reality show about social media. And um, it was really interesting. I definitely, we both really enjoyed it. It was definitely like easy watching if you are interested. Because we did nothing all day, we're not overly tired and we also both drank a lot of coffee. One thing quickly I do wanna to touch on is that in past vlogs and past videos for several years now, I have been discussing how sensitive I am to caffeine and how I have to drink decaf because drinking full caffeinated coffee makes me feel very shaky. Something happened chemically in my body when I went through pregnancy because that is no longer the case. It's really bizarre. So I don't drink all kinds of caffeine now, but I can easily drink one or two cups of regular coffee a day and I feel totally normal. I don't know what to say other than all that happened was I no, you know, had a baby and I don't, I don't know. I, I know a lot of, some women, their hair gets curly or gets straight and some people change. All different things happen because there's just so many hormones. I don't know what happened, but I'm able to handle normal coffee again. So I'll take it because the extra caffeine kick sometimes in the morning is great. I just actually sanitized the kitchen um, and the dishwasher's running so I still have some dishes that need to, there's, it's not totally perfect so don't look at it from there but look at it from like here, I'm pretty good. Um, so what I've been doing is following, well I follow an account on Instagram called Go Clean Co and I'll link them below and I just love their, um, all their tips and tricks and so one of the things that's recommended is which I just did is to plug up your sink and fill it with very 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 hot water a teaspoon of t powdered Tide laundry detergent for extra scrubbing power and then at least four tablespoons of bleach for sanitization purposes which clearly right now is extremely important and so I've been trying to do that as much as I can where I fill up the sink and then I just wiped down all of our counters I wiped down all the handles the microwave handle, um, the oven, every all of that. I, like I move everything off the counters, wipe it all down, wipe down the fridge. Um, I wiped down the island and the handles. I wiped down um, like the, what are those things called, light switches. Like I've been really trying to do that just to be extra safe. Um, so you can go find out more about doing that if you want from Go Clean Co's account. So like I said, I'll link it below, but um, it's just been giving me a little bit of a peace of mind to know that I'm sanitizing my house as often as possible. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
All right, it's now 1 a.m. and I just vacuumed in here and tidied it up. You could see a few minutes ago, it was just a disaster. So I tidied it all up and I am now actually gonna go try to head to bed. I'm not, honestly not that tired, but I'm trying to stay on some semblance of a schedule <laughs> because I have a baby I need to take care of during the day. So Alexa, good night. Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning now and I just made some whipped coffee. Today I used my hand mixer with this whisk attachment um, just to make it, you know, the lazy way since it's Sunday and it was super easy. So you can check out my last weekly vlog for more info, but basically use equal parts, hot water, sugar, and instant coffee, not coffee grounds, instant coffee. And um, you put them in a bowl and then you either whisk it by hand if you don't have a hand mixer or you can use a hand mixer um, for however long it takes till it gets to be like Cool Whip texture. And then you put it on top of some ice and milk and it is so stinking yummy. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I just preheated the oven. I'm gonna um, roast some potatoes that I chopped up in my last weekly vlog and um, scramble some eggs and we'll have some breakfast here in a minute. But happy Sunday. All right, we just finished making brunch. So we have some cinnamon rolls, bacon. We have some roasted potatoes and onions on the bottom and then scrambled eggs and tomato. And Nora's over there and we're gonna get ready to go eat. We're getting ready to head out on a little walk and somebody found some sunglasses to wear. <laughs> what are you doing in her little overalls? I'll put them on her head. You look so cool. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nora, you are precious. You are so funny. You really going to walk? You going to walk? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. They almost fell right onto us. All right, we got back from our walk a couple of hours ago and I've been working on laundry. And Norny's in here keeping me company. I just stripped the bed and threw all of the sheets into the um, washing machine. And I folded the laundry and we are working on putting it away, but I wanted to show you this. This is something that I used to do when I lived in Austin and I worked a full-time traditional job outside of the house. Every Sunday I would put together my outfits for every day of the week and I was working in a professional business environment and so I would also include like jewelry and um, things like that with each outfit so it certainly didn't look like this but with this quarantine and with us staying at home one of my major hurdles and something that makes me feel a lot better every day is um, getting dressed as soon as I get up but a lot of times I get up and I right now some things don't fit me right because I just had a baby and I just have a few things that I really like wearing you know how it is so anyway nothing is this is so casual because we are going to be at home 99.9 .9, maybe 100 percent of the time this week honestly um I don't I don't know where we would be going so yeah so for each day I just have um a shirt some underwear a bra and um some pants or shorts or whatever and so the, this isn't like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i can choose whichever one i want each morning but it's just an, an easy way um, and i might even condense them all and put them in like a little basket or something just so they're not just laying out here but it's just an easy way to ha like it's just one less thing to think about because each morning i can just pick up one of these little packets of clothes and i'm ready for the day so Anyway, I just thought I'd share that in case anyone else is struggling with motivation in the morning of getting up and getting moving. Something like this is super simple, but it does tend to help. Good morning, and guess who is five months old today? This little buggy. Nora, you're five months old today. I know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, good morning, guys. I, um have been up for a little while now. I am super proud of myself because I got up, got myself fully dressed. It definitely helped having everything laid out. I'm due for a shower, but um, I'm gonna wait until Riley gets home and take one tonight. I'm not going anywhere, homebody forever, so you know. Um, I got myself completely ready, got Nora completely ready. It's her five month birthday or whatever you want to say she's five months old today so I took her five month pictures this morning 
Um, I did all of our laundry last night except for my cleaning rags, and so I just popped them in the wash this morning. I even made our bed. I mean, it's not that great, but like it's made. I'm feeling really good. Happy Monday. Hey guys, it's about 4.30 now, and I just finished preparing some dinner for us, and I thought I would share it with you. It's already finished. This is about to go into the oven and this one into the freezer. So these are, um, we call them like creamy green enchiladas. So um, on the inside is shredded chicken with onions and garlic, cream cheese, and green chilies. And then um, you wrap that mix up into corn tortillas and then you put green enchilada sauce and a sprinkle of cheese on the top and so this is unbaked but once it's baked it's beautiful and bubbly and cheesy and so yummy and what i've been doing ever since i mean gosh ever since like my third trimester of pregnancy is every time i'm making a meal like this or like the baked ziti that i make um or the chicken and rice casserole that i make I'll leave a link to this recipe, the chicken rice casserole, the big ziti, those are the three off the top of my head, um, soup, things like that. Anytime I'm making a meal that goes further than just one dinner for us, I have been putting a second serving of it into um, some kind of freezer safe you know, dish. So this is just like one of those foil cake pans um, that you can grab at the grocery store or whatever um, because my all my other ones are already used up so it's nice to have some of these on hand. Um, this is a two pack from Walmart but you can get something similar, I mean from pretty much anywhere. Um, these are really shallow, it's better to get the deeper ones but you know, it is what it is. Anyway. And then I will wrap this up and write on the top of it the date that I made it, what it is, and how long to cook it for. Um, and it's really nice when I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking about dinner to pop into our freezer and to see that I have that I have a meal for us to eat that we could eat for dinner and then probably lunch the next day. So I will also um, leave this green enchilada recipe below. I know that I've shared this before on here, so I'm curious if anyone has made it. It is definitely a crowd favorite. I get the, the mild green chilies and the mild green enchilada sauce so that it's not too spicy, um, but you could get the spicier version. You could totally add stuff in, that kind of thing. So anyway, I'll leave the recipe to those three below, but this is a top tip, especially, especially for late pregnancy mamas and new postpartum moms, because if you're gonna take the time to cook or your partner's gonna take the time to cook, you might as well get yourself another meal out of it too. So anyway, th this is going in the oven for dinner tonight and this one's going in the freezer. We just put Nora down for bed and we're watching this new series on Netflix called Unorthodox. And I am baking chocolate chip cookies, always with the mini chips. I just think they're so good with chocolate in every bite. And so I have some ready to go in the oven and then I have some in the oven. All right, the cookies are out of the oven and we have three layers of deliciousness. These cooling racks are from Pampered Chef, but I know that there are similar ones that are stacking on Amazon because people have asked me about them before, so I can throw a link below if you wanna check them out. They're great, but these cookies are even better. Hey guys, as you can see from my Roku, it's 10.07. Riley and I have been sitting here hanging out. Riley stayed home from work today, so we spent the day together. Um, we just finished watching the HBO series, docu-series called The Jinx, which is about Robert Durst and um, really interesting. It's a true co true crime docu-series. Highly recommend it if you wanna see it. I think we just got like an HBO Now trial or something, right? Yeah, it's because there's a lot of good stuff on there and right now is a good time to get a trial. But we've been laughing because we've been watching so much true crime over the past three or four weeks, like every day we've been watching something new. And in 80 to 90% of these documentaries and docu-series that we're watching, the crime is committed or there's some major situation on my birthday or within a week of my birthday. It is like early December is when people commit these crimes. And every time it's like shocking over and over. And just in this last one, it was like December 4th. And I'm like, <laughs> we keep joking about it. It's not funny, but it's just so ironic. Like by the end of the year, the cold weather, people are just starting to fall apart or something. But 
anyway, that is a really interesting um, and relevant um, docu-series because, um, well, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, so watch it and then Google it. Um, but for those of you who have seen the jinx and know what I'm talking about, would love for you to comment below. Anyway, I'm sorry I didn't vlog all day, but we've just been at home hanging out, not doing anything, but I will see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Say it really earnestly. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It's Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, April 1st. Yes. Um, happy, happy April. March felt like it was 16 years long, so it's nice to roll into April. Um, how are you doing today? Let me know. I'm doing okay today. I am, it's like noon, I think. Um, and so I've been up for a little while. I got Nora up and ready, and then I just gave her a bath and put her down for a nap. And I made myself some brunch, and I've been sitting here, and I'm trying to log onto my computer, and it's like frozen. I don't know what's going on. Um, I've been having a little bit of, I don't know, just a little bit of sadness over the past couple of days because I had to cancel, obviously, I had to cancel our flights to Baltimore for Easter. Um, we are going to go for like five days, I think, and that's obviously not happening because Easter is here and we're going to leave like in the next couple of weeks. So that made me sad um, because I was looking forward to going up there, but also it's just like this sadness of Nora's growing and changing so fast and no one's getting to see her like. Riley's mom here in town isn't seeing her and Riley's sisters aren't seeing her and my parents and like I'm not getting to see my nephew Henry and my sister and brother and parents and aunts and like family up there it's just really hard like it's just really hard so that's one thing that's been really hard for me lately and then I'm supposed to go up there I was supposed to go up to Baltimore in May for a week just me and Nora um, for my best childhood friend's baby shower and we had to cancel that um, and I don't think it's going to be I'm going to be able to fly up there even just to go anyway because I don't think it's going to be clear by the middle of May and then the next time I'm planning on going up there is mid-June um, so we'll see if that's able to happen there's just like a, a heaviness and a sadness over the fact that like I don't get to see my family um, and they don't get to see, especially that they don't get to see and hold Nora as she's growing so fast. So that's been really hard. Um, in the past couple of days, I've just been having to kind of process through that and kind of grieve, you know, like her first Easter, we bought she and Henry these matching outfits. Actually, Allie and I, when we were both pregnant, bought them. And we were so excited to take pictures of them. We were like, oh my gosh, they're going to be like six and eight months old. It'll be so adorable. And like, we don't get to do that. And um, I know that's like silly, but it's just these little things that you get excited about that aren't going to happen. And just being able to be home for Easter and see everybody and then be up there for May and help host this amazing baby shower and we had to call it it's just like ugh. so just processing through the grief of disappointment i know that every one of you have um disappointments that you've been grieving i'm sure because we all all of our lives have just gotten turned inside out so you know it's just sad that i don't get to go up and see my family anytime soon and that i've had to cancel those trips so that's that nora is i think i already said she's taking a nap right now i am going to try continue to try to get on my onto my computer so I can answer emails and work on syncing my Etsy shop a little bit with Riley. He's at work. Um, the storefront is closed. He's just in his studio printing orders alone for customers. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about. I'm sorry to be kind of heavy and doom and gloom, but that's kind of where I am today. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday now. I just made a delicious big breakfast, and so I'm going to sit down and eat it, and I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Hey guys, I thought I would do a quick little cabinet talk. I just finished eating breakfast and then, oh, my battery's dying. Let me go change my battery first. Okay, um, I have a fresh battery. I ate breakfast and then I went ahead and nursed Nora and put her down for her morning nap. Um, so hopefully she gives me a couple of hours. She's been doing pretty well lately. 
on her um, on her naps. So yesterday I wasn't really on here at all. Um, yesterday was a pretty low day for me. Um, you know, in this current global environment, I think all of us are having our highs and our lows. And yesterday was a low for me. I just wasn't having a good day. I was feeling really sad about all the canceled travel. Um, and just not being able to see my friends and family and just everybody missing out on Nora growing up and just feeling frustrated. <clears throat> I know I'm not alone in that. Um, today is feeling better. Also, Riley was having a hard day yesterday too. Um, and he just has been obviously, as every small business owner, he's been stressed out with work and with what that's going to look like and how that's all going to play out. So there's just a lot. Um... There's a lot going on right now, as you can imagine. So, um, anyway, we got a good night's sleep last night. I think both of us are feeling more level and a little bit better today. Um, and we're just, you just have to take it, I think, day at a time. So that's what we're doing right now is just taking it one day at a time and trying to just do the best we can each day and just let things unfold as they're going to rather than trying to control everything. So that's the story. I'm going to get this kitchen cleaned up a little bit. I... I was doing so well with our kitchen table and not making it a like dump spot. And um, it's been a dump spot for a few days, so I need to fix that. Also, amazing news, I have solved my um, coffee syrup problem. I went ahead and ordered a few different things, three different things that are gonna help fix this up. So they haven't come in yet, so I will share them in a vlog once they come in. But I got new pumps and these really pretty labels and this little tray for everything. And I think it's gonna look a lot cleaner and more just less visual clutter. So I will definitely show you guys those things when they arrive. Obviously shipping on everything right now is delayed. So it looks like I'll probably get all that stuff in the next two weeks. So. I'll show you that when it comes in, but I appreciate all of your suggestions in my last weekly vlog because those all of those suggestions really helped me kind of hone in on what I wanted to do. A lot of people, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my last weekly vlog, but I have a bunch of coffee syrups down here and I was talking about how I don't really like how they look. A lot of people were saying just take the labels off, which obviously is a great idea because you would just get, you know, obviously you would just get the glass or the plastic container. Some of them are glass and some are plastic. It's really weird. Um, now I'm sticky from that. Um, which is not, that's a great idea, really good idea. One of my issues though, is that I feel like they're just so big. They're just such, these pumps are so big. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So they're just really tall. You can see like real quite tall. And so I just wanted something that was a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable looking. And so I did order something. So anyway, I'm going to clean up our kitchen. I'll talk to you guys a little later. I just finished editing a video now I'm starting my dishwasher and starting a load of laundry and making our bed and now I'm gonna go ahead and work on Etsy while Nora's still asleep Nora and I are heading out on a little walk it is a little overcast it sort of looks like it's gonna rain and it's a little breezy but take a brief walk because mama needs to get out of the house all right Riley just sanitized our kitchen island and I just washed my hands and we are going to get started on packaging up our open Etsy orders so we're gonna we, if you hear in the background we're brewing we're, we're brewing some coffee to drink while we do so and Nora is sleeping so let's get to work all right, we just finished packaging orders. We did 54 orders today, which is awesome. And we'll finish the rest up tomorrow. And I have been listening to this true crime podcast called Cold. And I was talking earlier in the week about how it seems like every one of these crimes takes place in early November, I mean, early December, right around my birthday. And this one was December 7th, two days before my birthday. I feel like it's always always that but anyway this is really interesting Riley recommended it to me so I'm gonna get these ready for our post lady to pick up and make some dinner it's about 5:30. okay there's been a lot of questions about how I fold socks after our family q and I I am being truthful so when I fold socks I take the two socks these are mine and I fold them 
all the way into each other so they're a little packet like this. That's how I do it when I fold mine. Where are you? That's exactly how I do it every time. And if it's Riley socks and they're longer, I take them and I fold them all the way into each other like this. He's going into the drawer right now. I don't know what you're trying to prove. This is how I always fold socks. Now Riley folds them like this. He takes the socks. Here we go. If they're my socks. Here we go. And he folds them like this. All right. Kill so they're it. hanging out. Look at this. Here's, but there's really no difference. Here's Blair's. She folded these for me. My cowboy socks. All right. So here they are. So okay, you get up in the morning, you're like, ugh. How were these today? And then, okay, go so you undo them, and they're both inside out. Whose fault is that? That's because you put them in the wash inside out. And then you you're expect like, me all to right. sit here and undo your socks? Yeah, that's exactly how you do life. So you do them both like this. You Absolutely both make not. them correct so you don't have to like spend extra time in the morning. And then you go so, like But this. I should spend extra time when I'm folding socks because you're too lazy to undo it. And then he does them like this, some little dangly thing. So then they're like dangling that. out. So like they're ready. Bow. Bow. They're ready. I, this is how I this is how Riley the first this is one, how Riley and they're inside out. This is how Riley folds my socks. So they're fast and easy to grab. So messy, so janky. This is how I fold my own socks. Oh, how nice! Look, they're so nice. Oh, little packets. Oh, this fight will go on forever and ever. Mostly because I could care less if it takes him five extra seconds in the morning to have to what undo his correct? socks. That's wrong, though. Don't care. It's wrong that you undo them and then put them in the wash and you don't put them in the wash so correctly when your side pants up. are inside out, whenever you take them out of the dryer, you just leave them inside My out. My pants aren't them. inside out because when I take them off, I put them right You've side in. You've never had an inside out shirt or pants. Never. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's so smug. What he doesn't know is next time he loads the dishwasher, which he loads the dishwasher like oh, an I insane would. Person, I love to see I, you film it. I would love to film it because I'm you're great. you load the dishwasher like you're four years old. Because I've researched and I know how dishwashers work. You've researched, <laughs> yeah, I no, know how dishwashers work, and they don't work the way you think they do. You think they work like magic, but that's not true at all. They're not magic. You have to put the dishes in just right for them to get hit by the hot water and the soap. When you put them in, you're, you're saying that you put them in just right? Oh yeah, because I've researched. But they're just the way I fold socks too, just right. <laughs> the correct way. Nora's wearing lemon, so we decided to give her a slice of lemon to see what she thinks of it. Nora. She seems to like it. You must be like your mama. Do you like sour things? You do? She She's pretty happy with it. She gave a little face at the beginning, but... All right. Do you like sour things like mama? <laughs> she doesn't She's even so care. relaxed about it. This is Ooh. so funny. You did good. Bite. Well, all right. She wasn't, she like, when we first tried it, when she was like three months, she also didn't really have a big reaction. So. Look, she likes it. She's just eating it. She's furrowing her brow just to let her eyes twitching a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but mostly, some babies She's react super strongly. She's just kind of chilling. <laughs> that is so funny. Charlie. Charlie just got groomed, so he's looking extra cute. He's looking extra cute. Hey guys, we just finished dinner, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because it's Thursday evening right now, and I wanna have tomorrow and Saturday to edit this vlog and get it uploaded so I can double check it on Saturday night probably and then it will be live on Sunday morning. So I want to go ahead and wrap it up now Thank you so much for following along with me this week as usual in my more info bar below There's a link to my blog if you've never checked that out I have most recently my birth story my postpartum story my birth video things like that, but I have Gosh, how many years is it almost? 
seven or eight coming up on eight years worth of blog posts like a really long a lot of them, hundreds hundreds and hundreds so you can go check that out my etsy shop is open so i just package up all those etsy orders it is open and i have free shipping through the month of march for people who live in the u.s so go ahead and check that out there's a link to that below um and then my instagram and social media is below as well but anyway thanks so much for following along with me this week i will see you guys next week probably i think i'm going to continue with this i'm having fun right now so i'm just going to roll with it and um yeah leave me a comment what have you guys been up to thanks for following along bye